The Borealis is an exotic sniper rifle that is equipable to the energy slot in Destiny 2. Borealis comes with two main perks, the Fundamentals, which allows you to swap between the three different damage types by holding the reload button, and Ionic Return, which will return a bullet to your magazine after breaking an enemy shield or the shield of an enemy guardian in Super. When this perk is activated, it will grant bonus damage for the rest of the magazine. We're going to get started right off the bat with some damage numbers. Against supers without Ionic Return, it does 160 to the head, and with Ionic Return, it does about 220 damage, depending on how many pieces of Masterwork armor they have, and how much damage resistance their super grants. Against normal Guardians, it does 158 to the body without Ionic Return, and 433 to the head without Ionic Return. With Ionic Return, it will bump up the damage to 182 to the body and 620 to the head. These numbers show that Ionic Return grants a 1.43 times damage buff for critical damage and 1.15 damage buff for body shot damage inside of Crucible. Tier 1 Borealis, like other sniper rifles, was in the power slot, and activating Ionic Return post buff would allow you to body shot guardians. However, in year 2, as shown by the 182 body shot damage, you cannot body shot kill without other damage buffs such as an empowering rift. My personal guess is this was likely done to balance Gambit, so an invader cannot activate Ionic Return off of a PvE enemy and then go invade and get a team wipe with 4 body shots. In my opinion, Borealis is a good feeling sniper, but it is a bad exotic. It has a 45 zoom factor, like Izanagi's Burden, and it's almost as high as Bayou the Fox. It has 65 aim assist, 72 handling, and it feels very snappy to use, and it feels like it has a very forgiving hitbox. However, like many other older exotics, it has fallen behind the curve. It needs a rework, as well as other exotic weapons and armor such as Sunshot, Skyburner's Oath, Kepri's Horn, etc. Some changes to these Year 1 pieces of gear could be on the horizon, for all I know, with Shadowkeep on the way this fall. However, I'm going to give some of my thoughts on how I think I could improve Borealis if I were in charge of balancing it. I would allow a matching element to increase damage to shields and to super and guardians, allowing for a one-shot kill to a super on a headshot. I would also bring the body shot damage up to match the critical shot damage buff. This may p cause people to worry about Gambit, but people can already invade with his Nagi's Burden t with Honed Edge times 4 and it'll be fed to them every couple seconds if they have a full invader set. Or they could invade with a kill clip to Tara Gaze ready to go, or invade with Yoten, whatever. There's lots of things that would be worse than this. Currently, there are four exotic snipers in the game, two of which are locked to the heavy slot. Iznagi's Burden, which personally is one of my favorite weapons, is locked to the kinetic slot, leaving Boreas as the only exotic energy sniper rifle. And it does a poor job of being exotic, it's just immediately outclassed by other legendary snipers like Beloved, which can reduce flinch and shut down supers. However, I would like to point out that many exotics, not just Borealis, need a rework. I am using Borealis for the purpose of this video, though, to point out that many exotics need a rework. Massive rework would likely diversify the PvE and PvP metas, and not just buffing underpowered exotics, and I would like to suggest nerfing some certain overpowered exotics, like One-Eyed Mask. I would like to thank you all for watching, and I hope you have an awesome day.